try this again. Hopefully the phone stays letting me record videos. I'm gonna pull it out, drain the intercooler. See how much oil is actually in there since like when I bought the thing and since I tried to boost for the first time the other night. on the car i mean i did do wheel bearings new hub on this side I'm trying to get a custom yeah to make like a you'll see oh yeah it needs paint it needs paint a lot of the stuff under the hood's temporary because i'm changing all this stuff you know like i don't didn't want a nice intake for this setup because this crap is all coming out like in the next soon real soon now that it, now that the turbo seems pretty blown it's coming out like this was really oily yesterday right out the backside turbo and you can see it under here where the downpipe is <sighs> It's a little wet on it because ever since i put in the injectors that are supposed to be in this car 550s um it runs so much better i tried to get on it for the first time it felt really fast and i wanted to wait till i get stuff on camera you know what i mean to you know to enjoy the whole thing with everyone else the first full throttle on the twin turbo setup but, uh, yeah. yeah, whoever painted this did a horrible job with the paint. Can't wait to have that done, but it's wretched right now, you know? I think that's the point. But I gotta remove, yeah, I had all this. I gotta remove uh, the couplers. Basically, what I'm gonna do is unbolt the uh, intercooler here. And I'm gonna tip it and I'm gonna see how much oil's in it because just taking this off isn't enough to have like, see how this goes down quite a bit. I'm curious how much oil's in this thing. This could have, I mean, I know it had oil in it when I first bought the car because this part always looked damp to me up here. And this is not set up like a normal twin turbo setup. When I got it, it was actually already set up for a, what a TTC or whatever it's called. It's when um, it acts like a single turbo car. It's basically both turbos run 100% all the time and it sounds way better. Uh, but it's just crazy how they did it. Like, I don't even know if like the lines are hooked up the right way. I want to delete this thing, but I got to find, like, something to, like, put in this hole, make a custom plate. I don't know. I mean, this thing's ghetto. It's all temporary. These stupid hoses are temporary. That stuff I, like, had pieced together when I deleted this uh, PCV valve. Just wanted to get any type of oil stuff out of there. It's going to look way better soon. But yeah, like the the wastegate under here is like, it's welded all the way open, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm not sure. It's a very confusing type system. I mean, I cut this part off, I opened this, I've taken the butterfly out a while ago, so that's wide open, no restriction. But I know the car will be way more fun when I put that single in it. The wheels were next, and I'm so close to putting them on now. I have the fitting all figured out, but what are you going to do? All the gauges and stuff are working nice now. They all, everything works. RPM, speedometer, that was pretty easy. 
<sighs> Let's get to it. He's supposed to drive that to the vacation like four weeks ago, the place I'm going in a few days, if all goes well. And it always made this like, ever since I got it, I always thought it was the rear end because I think the rear end needs to be redone, rebuilt. This side from the right, I always heard this like, eh, 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 sound. It was like a, not a normal wheel bearing sound, but when I diagnosed it and went to take it apart, like the wheel had play in it. So then I jump in this thing. This thing still kind of stinks from hitting that dead skunk in the road. I didn't even hit the thing. I just drove over it and it just reeked. But yeah, as you can see, there's new lines up here. I was, uh, the day before I was going to leave for a vacation in this thing, I was using some wood and I was dismounting tires off of some wheels on the old CCWs and truck wanted to like lurch forward a little too much. So I hit the brake real quick and I just sounded like an explosion and it sounded like a tire popped and i looked around nothing happened didn't know what it was and i think it was the next morning i figured out that it was the brakes because i went to leave and i backed up went to stop and it didn't stop running and get the phone i was almost doing this uh without filming i'm so used to just not making videos now Don't turn on me. I'm gonna have to grab the needle nose so I can get this off the rest of the way. This one's about to be off. All right. I'm gonna drop this side first. Jack the car up a little bit. Yeah, this should be good. See what happens. I didn't want to take the headlight out. Plus, it really doesn't give me much access to this. I gotta like reach up and under here. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, there's the oil. Bear with me. Here we go. What are we stopped on? I do have blocks under here. I don't, it's not hitting that. have to pop the whole thing off. It's too hard to do this. Let me try and... So it's not as bad as I thought. Try to turn the light on this thing so you can see in there. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for a few. Stuff some paper towel in there so it absorbs it. And yeah, I thought there would be a lot more in there, but probably already shot through my motor and that's what the smoke was. Basically, I mean, this turbo is pretty shot. It is what it is. I have to leave to bring my kid to his karate lesson like really soon. I see some oil on this side too. I'm gonna get the leaf blower and just try to force it out this end real quick. I'm sitting like here a little bit, a little bit now. I hear thunder. Just I think it should sit for a whole night like this, really. This sucks. This sucks. 
Yeah, yeah. Love the humidity and storms every day. Damn. I wonder why the thing's smoking so much. What the fuck? And that's not all from me. I mean, that's... Damn. 